This is the first episode of Real Men, Real Skin. I'm here with my friend Nathan. And Hello. we are going to talk about his skin, his journey, and what's changed. Nathan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am turning 47 this year. Um, and this is probably the first year, the first 46 of year, years of my life, I probably spent not really caring or paying much attention to anything about my skin. What's really made you change? You know, when, when you look at people that are caring about their health, whether it's, you know, and, and I would say skin, skin care and, and that type of stuff probably isn't the, the number one thing on my mind. Um, it's often, you know, am I drinking enough water? Am I going to the gym? Am I eating healthy? Am I doing all that kind of stuff? But all of these factor into, you know, do I, do I want to look 80 when I'm 60 or do I want to look 50 when I'm 60? And, you, you know, my wife and I, we want to, we want to live long and prosperous lives, you know, into retirement and be able to travel and be able to go out in the sun because we love our sun vacations. We want to be able to, um, you know, walk <laughs> and not have to, you know, take little carts around. So all of these things, yeah, you know, they say health starts becoming more important as, as you get older and, you know, that's really what's happening. So sort of started, uh, you know, more on what are we eating? You know, uh, are we, you know, what's our diet like? What's our exercise routine? And, and making sure we're doing more of that. But I have had a couple things happen over the last couple of years that have made me focus a little bit more on skin. Okay, so you sent me some photos and I thought that, that it was a good representation of what your skin was like. Were you doing nothing at that point in time? Yeah, and those photos, maybe I'll, I'll just frame this a little bit to, to kind of talk because you know a little bit of, you know, 15 years ago, I remember my doctor using some liquid nitrogen and just sprayed some stuff off the side of my nose. One of those little patches that you think might be from sunglasses that just, you know, and she said, well, these are precancerous, um, a little bit of liquid nitrogen. I said, great, I'm great, you know, <laughs> sprayed it off. I don't have to worry anymore. So I saw a patch um, on my forehead and I reached out to my doctor. She referred me to a dermatologist. Uh, and when I walked into the dermatologist, um, they said, you know, that it's really just sun damage. So I guess spraying my face with, uh, you know, banana boat spray <laughs> um, and then jumping in the pool didn't really fully protect me, but it made me aware that, you know what, sun damage is starting to happen. And uh, that on top of, you know, I, I noticed little sunspots happen, those little raspberries that start appearing, all those things started to have come out in the last um, five or six years. You know, he, he, he did tell me that it, it was sun damage, but if I'm really concerned, he gave me this tube of, I don't know what it was called. You know, one of those things with names that it's hard to pronounce. I remember you saying, well, it's probably not really good for you, but I decided <laughs> to try it anyways. It's a cream. It targets bad cells and kills them. Right. And it ignores the good ones. And you know, like somebody that doesn't really, hasn't really thought about it. I said, well, that should be great. Let's put that on. And I, and I did that for about, about a month and a half. And I don't know, I sent you some pictures about what that looked like. I don't know if you're, you're throwing those out, but it looked like I fell out of a car on the pavement on my face. You know, and I, I remember him telling me, hopefully you don't have a lot of Zoom meetings um, to go to, <laughs> or, 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 or maybe just, <laughs> Maybe just leave it <laughs> on, you know, no picture or put a little picture of yourself up instead. Um, and it really was, and it was eating away. And, and where it actually was, was not in the spot that I thought it was. That that ended up being fine. It was right around this side. So the face, the, I realize it's the side of my face that faces when I drive. Uh, but that was the first inclination I thought you know what, I'm, I'm getting older and I might be susceptible to this kind of thing. I was sitting with a friend and, you know, of, of a similar age and, and, and he mentioned to me, oh, I got this this new stuff. You know, it's, it's one of those um, skincare products that he found in the back of, you know, it's a back of men's health. It was very guy looking, it was dark bottles, it was white lettering, you know, very masculine. <laughs> how I how I tended to always shop for products, right? You ignore those long aisles of uh, of 
you know, fluorescent bottles and you go for that little section in Shoppers Drug Mart or in, in Walmart that has guys and it's like Dove Men Black Grey Bottle. Must be great for me, <laughs> right? That's, and I mean, that's how a lot of guys think. That's how I, I know I'm changing. I still think that way sometimes, right? I remember sending it to you and said, and, and saying, what is this stuff? Yeah, I you definitely know? took a look. <laughs> um, and the interesting thing you brought forward to me at that point was that it was uh, retinol, I, I believe. I, I don't know if I have that ingredient right. Yes. Which is very susceptible to sun. And um, I was about to go away to Mexico. And you had mentioned that you have an equivalent, like Beauty Counter, uh, had an equivalent product. Which is um, this one here. Uh, tripeptide. And it was similar, plant-based, I think. I don't know if I have all this right. But it can... It has a similar effect. It was actually uh, quite a bit cheaper than this product. Mm -hmm. um, it was a pink bottle, so I had to get over that. <laughs> um, but in the end, it can have a similar effect. That was the first product I actually started trying. This is so good because a lot of men, I find, are looking to make a change yeah. for the exact same reasons that you said. It's all, it's all a part of health. If you're eating organics, you also want to pay particular attention to what's going on in your skin. Uh, but, I mean, the quickest route is to just grab whatever's on the shelf. And now we're going through a little bit of a change in times where ingredients matter. And so after you tried using a natural alternative, let us. what, what did you think? Did you feel a difference? How is it working out? Well, I, I don't know yet. Um... I equate it a little bit to when you go to the gym every day and you look in the mirror every day, you don't notice changes in yourself. I look at myself in the morning when I'm putting this on, at night when I'm putting this on. Um, I definitely don't feel tight-faced. You know, I, 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 I know that my face was really dry all the time, likely from not enough drinking enough water and not ever using any type of moisturizer um, for 46 years. But I, I know that that's... That, feels a lot better, right? I, I don't have that tight face. I feel I feel better. I know that my wife says she notices um, stuff uh, a, a lot better, but you know, it's still early in this, you know, trying out a little bit of this. What I'm trying to do right now is um, just like going to the gym, I'm just trying to build some routine into my life and make it habit. And I'm still in the early days of doing that. Um, you did bring up the whole natural alternative and kind of that piece. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about that on because honestly, the other thing is I know nothing about all of this stuff, right? And when you walk into any of these, there, there's a million brands out there. It's so overwhelming. And, you know, even when I look at my counter at home and all the, all, all the stuff my wife has, like all these bottles that you're showing here, I just see a lineup of different fluorescent <laughs> colors Oh, and I, yeah, and I don't know what really does what, and mm -hmm. I and I ask questions, and you know, it just it it's all new to me. And we, when we talk about habits, um, there's common knowledge that it takes thirty days to break and start a new habit. So this is kind of like the path that we are working on, not just with the men close in our life, but with other men who are interested. For me, right now, it's just building habit. Um, like anything else, like drinking water. That's the other thing that I'm always continuously trying to focus on remembering to do is drink water. And, and now this is one of those other ones, habit forming ones that I'm trying to do. And we'll connect in a few weeks or, or in, in, I'll let you know how it's going. Okay. 